Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you three different ways in which you can use a Windows machine to connect to your Linux student account. Option one is to use a program called putty.exe. Option two is to use the built-in Windows command prompt. And option three, only if you're running 64-bit Windows 10, is to install the Linux subsystem. Let's start with option one. So putty.exe is a tiny little program that you can download off the internet, putty.org, and you don't install it. Uh, here's a shortcut for it. And every time you want to connect to a remote server, you just run this. And in the host name, I will type the host I want to connect to. So for us, this is going to be linux.student.cs.uwaterloo.ca. Now you can save it. I had already saved it. Uh, so let's save it as Linux 2. Save it. One thing that you might also want to do right now is to go to the SSH option, then the X11 option, and enable X11 forwarding. This is useful going to be useful later on in the course when we start um, developing graphical applications because it's going to allow those windows graphical windows to open on our local computer let's go back here and press open let me just drag this window that it putty opened here uh, so it's asking me for my user id uh, my user ID on the student account is N-A-N-A-E-E-M. So I'm going to type that, press enter. Now it's asking me for my password. Type that in. Notice that it's not actually displaying the password, not even moving the cursor. That's considered a security feature. Press enter. Let's see if I entered my password correctly. I am not used to typing my passwords. I did. Okay, and now I'm connected and I can confirm I am running bash and I can also confirm where I am connected. So I'm connected on the Ubuntu, one of the Ubuntu machines in the student environment. And once you're done, you can just type exit to terminate your session. So that's one option, putty.exe. That, that used to be the recommended option or one of the few options that were available to Windows users to connect uh, from and be able to access the command line. Uh, but now there's a, a bunch of other options. So here's one which I just found out yesterday. So on the top left, I have opened up a Windows command prompt. This runs DOS, um, so it's not running Bash, but it turns out that DOS now supports SSH. SSH is being the command that we can use to establish a secure session with a remote server. So I'm going to use SSH on the command prompt, Windows command prompt. So the command is SSH. I'll say dash Y. Uh, that enables X11 forwarding. And now I need to give it my user ID. Notice that my user ID here on this local computer is Nomer, but my user ID on the student account, on the school account is NA name. So I'm gonna give that at, at, and then the name of the server, linux.student.cs.uwaterloo.ca. Press enter. It's gonna ask me for my password. And I'm connected. I'm running bash and I am connected to the Ubuntu machine. Once I'm done, I can simply exit. All right, so that's another neat little option. This was not an option. I'm not sure when they added support for SSH. But even a better option is this third option I'm going to talk about. And the issue with option two is that you're not really running bash when you have the command prompt open in Windows. So for example, if I do ls here, ls is not a recognized command in DOS. 
which is kind of annoying. So option three, as I said earlier, is only available to those of you who are running 64-bit Windows 10 machines, which most of you should be, uh, is to enable the Linux subsystem. So you have to go into the uh, programs or control panel and then programs and enable this option. And then you go to the Microsoft Store and you download the Ubuntu app. That's what's running here in the bottom left corner. And I was able to set up my own user ID. So I chose a user ID, which is the same in my school account. And the nice thing here is that this is running Bash. And so any commands, Bash commands that I want, I can actually execute them. I'm going to just connect ssh-y in a name at linux.student.cs.uwaterloo.ca enter my password and there you go i am once again connected to the school environment the nice thing is i exit and this is also a bash environment just running on my local machine so hopefully you like one of these three ways and you can Play with each of the, these and then decide which approach you're going to use going on in this course and maybe even later on.